I've been using Finasteride for 5 years to combat hair loss. This was me 20 years old and 2 years later with a fully recovered hair. But 1 year ago the treatment stopped working and I started having massive hair loss. I lost a ton of hair density and my temple area started to recede again. It was time to step up the game so I started using 3 new treatments which were Minoxidil in topical form, Microneedling and ketoconazole shampoo. I will go month by month over the results of these treatments and give you my honest opinion about them. Okay, so first let me break down how and when I use these treatments for the best results. I will give you the technique that best worked for me and the one that allowed me to have the quickest results. Also, any treatment I mention, I will put down below in the description so you know where to find it in case you want to use it. So first, let's start with finasteride, which is the easiest. Every day I take one milligram pill of finasteride in the morning while having breakfast. There is no mystery about this, but it's a crucial treatment for hair loss. Finasteride stops the production of DHT, which is the hormone that causes hair loss. Many people are asking if I had any sexual side effects. The answer is no, I have never had any sexual side effects. It is possible though to have one of those sexual side effects if you start finasteride, but the possibility is very low with a 98% of people having no issues with that. And I include myself there. So overall, finasteride is great for stopping fur hair loss. But to regrow the lost hair and to gain new hair density, you will need minoxidil. Minoxidil is a hair growth stimulator and it's the greatest one that has ever existed. Without a doubt, it's the biggest contributor to my insane results, which we will see in a moment. The only thing I don't like about the companies that sell this is that they will tell you that you need to use it twice a day. In reality, I use it only once a day and that's more than enough to regrow your hair. Minoxidil has a half-life of 22 hours, which means that you can just apply it once a day and it will be perfectly fine. In my case, I do it in the evening, one hour before going to bed, because it leaves the hair a bit greasy. So I apply it in the evening and in the morning when I shower, I can just wash it off and the hair looks perfectly normal again. So minoxidil is great and I would recommend it a million times. But it wouldn't have worked as well without the next treatment, which is the Dermapen. A Dermapen is the same as a derma roller, only it works automatically. The derma roller uses very tiny needles which make micropunctures in your skin. So this helps minoxidil to penetrate more easily. When used with minoxidil, it gives much better results. Not only better hair growth and hair density, but also much quicker results. So I use it once a week with a needle depth of 1.5 millimeters, which is more than enough. I also use minoxidil the day I microneedle. But to make it safer, you can choose to skip that day and use minoxidil the next day. And now the last treatment, the ketoconazole shampoo. So ketoconazole shampoo is not necessary, just optional. I believe however that this is a great treatment for the following reasons. First, it also partially regrows hair like the other treatments we've seen, but it's not as effective as the other ones. Second, and this is very important, it will help during the common itching phase. When you start these treatments, the scalp will start to itch a lot for the first few weeks of the shedding phase. This is the time when some of the hairs will start to fall to make room for new and healthier ones. So the ketoconazole shampoo helps to calm the itching a lot. I still use it but only once a week. As a reminder I'm putting all the treatments and where to find them below in the description. Okay so let's cut to the chase and see the results month by month. So these are my pictures before starting the treatments. As you can see there is a huge density loss especially in the temple area. Here's a picture of the first month after starting the treatments and this month was the worst. So as I told you before, when you start these treatments, you will go through the common shedding phase. This phase lasts for a few weeks and means that the hairs that were affected by hair loss start to fall to make room for new and healthier ones. It just sucks because it looks like you're going more bald for a while. Here's a comparison to the beginning. When this happens, just remember that this is a sign that the treatments are working and everything will go uphill from there, which is what happened. A few weeks later, in the second month, those hairs were starting to come out again. As you can see, my hair looked so much better already. Month 3 was also great, with even better results, as you can see here. It's more noticeable when compared to the beginning. Oh, but then the worst possible thing happened. I didn't know that this was possible, but apparently people can go through a second shedding phase, 
which is what happened to me. This is clear from this month 4 picture. The hairs I recovered were falling out again, but still better compared to the beginning. I was calm because I read that several shedding phases can occur and one just needs to be patient. If you don't stop the treatments, you can trust that the hair will become much better. So this is me in month 5, still recovering from the second shedding phase, but it is already looking better. In month 6, I would say I had almost completely recovered from the second shedding phase. Here you can see the improvement compared to the beginning. If you think that it can get better from here, you're wrong. The next few months proved to be great for regrowing new hair and getting new hair density. This is month 8 and this time the picture is from an angle. Compared to the start, the hair was much fuller and healthier looking. In month 9, when I took this picture and compared it to the beginning, I realized that yes, there were some new hairs, but what really improved was the density. Look how much thicker the hair is compared to the start. Month 10 was even better. Here's the comparison to the beginning. In month 11, I think there was perhaps a little new shading phase, but nothing comparable to the other two. The thing with the shedding phases is that they become much less frequent and much less severe with time. Here's the comparison. And at last, month 12, which is this month. You can see the amazing results. This is especially visible in the temple area. When I take these pictures, I do it with wet hair and comb it to the back, which exposes my still existing recession. But normally you wouldn't appreciate the hair loss, as you can see here. When I tell people that I suffer from hair loss, they almost laugh at me and tell me that they don't believe me. And this is the greatest compliment that I can get. So, if you can achieve that with your hair growth routine, you will have succeeded. If you found this inspiring, I would appreciate it a lot if you subscribe to the channel and help others find this video. Until next time, I wish you a happy hair journey. Adios!